So many kids get now because they're really hyperactive uh, Ritalin. Do you think that that's a good thing, that so many kids uh, are down in their energy because of this medicine? I, don't, I think there's a new way, because, you know, again, you can see this in brain research, of dealing with ADHD, whereas, but it's, you know, it's coming, is where the kid who's got ADHD, it's very like kind of mindfulness, they play a video game, and they win the lower they got their cortisol, meaning they start to understand when they're there at that, mm. you, know, you know when you're calm, when you're cool, you know when there's red mist and you're not thinking. So the kids learn to um, adjust their levels. Now that does the same thing as Ritalin, except you'll live longer. So they will be, like mindfulness or CBT, you're going to start to learn how to lower that thing. Because once you understand it in your body, you just have to know what state you're in. Like I can actually say, I'm screwed. You, yesterday, screwed, gone, I didn't even want to look in. But then you make sure you don't go to a party or you start to shut down and mm. cancel everything. Whereas before, with depression, you start getting more and more active because you want to show everybody that you're fine. There's a thousand dinner parties I can go to and I'm fine. And the more you, because there's such shame in having it. So you work harder, you drink harder, you play hard. It's all out of the shame. No other disease has shame on top of it. So, um, I think Ritalin is going to be replaced by these video games they teach kids, mm. that they win when they're cool.